Hey guys, so the reason for making this video is because recently I decided I'd buy a nice new SSD to upgrade my computer. It's a fairly good system and the bottleneck's always been the operating system hard drive. So I got this new SSD, installed it, even put a new uh, installed Windows on it to make it run nice and smooth. Problem was I only sort of just like dropped it inside the case to connect it and the wiring wasn't great. So I went back afterwards, tidied up the wiring, my computer wouldn't boot again. I think the problem was I'd accidentally knocked the RAM out while I was trying to do it and my case is a little bit too small for everything I have in it. So I decided I'm going to build a new case. Start off with it, I uh, pulled my old computer apart, got all the parts out to give it a nice bit of a clean. I put the computer back together a bit just to make sure it actually boots up. I did have some problems with the hard drive when I first installed Windows on it. I then drew up the design that I wanted on the front of the case. I'm going to use the same aperture design that I used for my tattoo. And I'm going to make a panel on the front that lights up and holds a power switch in the middle. So I had to make sure I drew it to the right size for the LED ring, got the shape of the panel, and then send it to get laser cut. I laser cut the outer shape in 3mm MDF which I'm going to paint black to give it a better finish. Then to make the inserts, to try and save a bit of space, I just copy and pasted one eight times to get them a bit close together and laser cut this in acrylic. I had to work out where they went because the shape wasn't exactly circular, so each piece would only fit in its hole. I spent a while trying to do this and had no luck until I realised a problem. As you may have noticed, when I was copying and pasting, I used the same piece eight times, which means I had eight copies of the same piece, so they all only fit in the same hole. I had to cut the pieces out again, so I didn't end up saving any material, but this time I made sure I cut all eight different pieces. I gave the MDF a couple of coats of spray paint to give it a shinier black look, which made the blue acrylic really stand out. Went through and laid out all the pieces in it. It did take a bit of trial and error to get the last one to fit right, but once I had them all in, I put a bit of hot glue around all the edges to hold them in place. Next step is to install the power button or the power switch I'm using in the middle of the board. Once I had that installed, this board's almost ready to go. To cut the back panel to size, I just used my circular saw running up against the straight edge I have. It wasn't super crucial the dimensions I used for this, it just needed to be nice straight red square edges. For the side, back and edges, I cut them to width using the table saw and then very precisely cut them to length using a, saw, using a circular saw. I laid out all the components I want on the front panel and tried to space them as evenly as I could. Once I did that, I traced them so I'd have the markings of where they go. Then I came through and drilled all the mounting holes. I then went through and used my scroll saw to cut the insides out of all these shapes. bit of glue around the edges, some clamps, and the whole box came together nicely. Once I'd measured the shape right, I stuck the back panel on. I was left with the open sided case to install my computer in. Again, I needed a lot of clamps to make sure this held tight. Finally, I installed the computer ready to test it and make sure it's working properly. So I'm going to leave it there for now. It's already taken me about two weeks to get this far. Uh, even having planned a lot of it beforehand still took me ages to get through it all. There's a few issues I have noticed with it. For instance, the top fan kind of clashes with the USB ports at the front. Uh, they just fit. If it was any closer, it wouldn't have fit at all. So that, I guess it's all right. 
and the back panel doesn't really line up properly with the motherboard and the graphics cards and stuff like that. To finish it off, I'm still waiting for a few more parts to arrive, which I've ordered online. It's probably gonna take me another two or three weeks until they arrive. So in the meantime, that's all for now. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the second half of this video when I eventually get around to making it. Thanks for watching.